Hi Aries, welcome in to your general reading for the week. Um, what are we looking at? We're going from the last week of May into the first week of June. All right, so let's see what's going on there, Spirit Guides. Ooh, look at that. Thank you, Spirit. I had one of the cards from the deck. I just took it out of the box and it was one of the informational cards that comes with the deck. And I just cut it right in half to be right there. I swear, sometimes like we have to look in life and see where all our opportunities come from, right? All the little special nuances that we don't really pay attention to. All the things that we're like, not a big deal. Or actually a big deal. We're always being helped. I guess we just have to open our eyes. And I felt like that was just a reminder of that. Anyway, enough of my nonsense. <laughs> Let's see what's going on here for you guys. I have a King of Cups here. And a Ten of Pentacles. And Justice. And the Six of Wands. What's happening? Some of you are getting married. And those of you that are getting... Where it's completely the opposite. That you're getting divorced. You're getting some really good settlement here. You're getting some justice. Yeah, for something shady that had played out for you. Uh, if somebody was having an affair or something shady that had played out for you. You're, you're getting some kind of vindication here. Some kind of validation. Six of Wands. This is getting noticed. Vindicated. You won. Congratulations. King of Cups, in the upright position, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, although it doesn't have to be that sign, because I also have Libra right there. This is just somebody emotionally available, somebody emotionally mature. Somebody that you can have those tough conversations with, and they're not going to run away. They're going to handle it. They're going to deal with it. You're getting some kind of fair justice. The scales are being corrected. They're being balanced. And it either has something to do with a lot of money on your home or something to do with marriage and commitment. So some of you could be having some success here with an individual as well. So let's continue and see what's going on here. What's coming towards uh, my Aries, please, for the first week of June? Three of Cups. This is celebration. This is... Um, reconciliation this is dating this is putting yourself out there this is getting good news this is going out for drinks so for all of you it could be very very different um but some of you feel very stuck some of you guys feel um like you've got no play or you have no moves or you can't move or you can't change something going on in your life that's actually not true so i don't know if this is also making you feel stuck Whatever this is. All right. Um, what does an Aries see coming, please? What's the surprise for Aries? Queen of Cups. You know what I'm going to do, right? King of Cups. <laughs> what you don't see coming is that you are coupling up here with somebody. Somebody here you're vibing with. You guys are on the same page. You're literally the king and queen of cups. You're both there for one another. You're both able to be on that same level. I want to see why this is here, though. Because Queen of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Let me have one more for um, with this Queen of Cups. Somebody's offering you emotion or something relationship something solid but you seem to be torn over it you seem to be not confused you just don't know what to choose if that's not you then that's your person debating between two people debating between two jobs two paths in your life you're weighing your pros and cons this is two twos you're weighing your pros and your cons you're like this or that this person or that person, this job or that job, th this stay here or move, do this, do that. You're having a really tough time and you're trying to weigh those pros and cons and the five of swords. You're definitely having like some kind of uh, mental warfare in your own mind. But you're realizing that you are coming to a bittersweet moment in your life. You are going to have to sacrifice something and that's what it feels like or it will feel like for you. You, on the other hand, want to go out and chase your dreams. I get that. What's the advice here?
I get the feeling that Spirit's sitting here telling you, go slowly, go cautiously, go methodically, prod along. Be, you're on the right course is what it's saying. But on your path, on your journey, things are going to open up to you. Things are going to be revealed to you and things will come to you. So unlike in Aries who make spontaneous decisions or rash sometimes or impatient, it's saying, don't do that. Be the opposite of you. <laughs> Take your time. Go slowly. Things are going to unfold for you for you to make those choices that you need. Ace of Swords in reverse. You're, there's some kind of communication that's not happening here, and it needs to. You're not getting all the facts. You're either A, not getting full facts here, or B, someone's not coming clean or not coming forward, or there's a lack of communication. Um, and this is why you have to go slowly because this is what will unfold for you. And this is like pretty, this is some pretty good advice. I ain't going to lie. Um, but with that said, we'll see when we clarify what, what they're talking about. Oh my God. Ten of swords at the, an ace of pentacles. Yeah, guys, after the 10 comes the aces. There's nowhere else to go from the bottom. It goes up. There's no, there, there's no more bottom unless you're trying to dig a hole for yourself. And I don't think you are. So. The Ten of Swords, it's talking about something that's dead and done. It's dead dola. It's over. It's gone. Bye. Because after that comes the Ace, the new beginnings. Oh, yeah. And your stability. All right. Let's continue. Let's see what the outcome is here. Uh, guys, it's allergy season and I am dying a slow death. <laughs> what is the outcome for the week? Between watery eyes and sneezing and runny nose. Sorry. No. No, I don't want to see the Five of Pentacles. Hmm. Interesting. The Five of Pentacles talks about being left out in the cold, either by like your job and you feel like you're broke ass right now, or being left out in the cold by somebody, a relationship, a person, whatever. You feel lonely, right? Um, but the first instinct that I got from this with the eight of pentacles, I think you feel this way, Aries, because you guys have been busting your ass for a lot of you lately in regards to work. You've been given some opportunities in the last year or so, and you're going to be given a another batch of opportunities in the coming year, work-wise. I think a lot of you have been busting your ass so hard at work and just focusing on your stability and focusing on yourself that somewhere in the interim, you felt or you feel lonely because you feel like, I don't know, maybe you lost friendships or you got out of touch with people or you're not in sync with anyone anymore. You're not in touch with anyone anymore. So this Five of Pentacles isn't just some flat out being dissed and, you know, being rejected. It can be for some of you, but overall, the general pop of you guys, the general population of Aries... I feel like you've been working so hard uh, or somebody here has been working so hard. So if it's not you, it's your person so hard that you feel lonely or you feel left out in the cold. Um, some of you have recently met a fire sign. It's possible. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius and this person is going through this also. I think this person, especially if they're another Aries, they're going what, through what you're going through. They're literally going through the same exact thing as you. Working hard, feeling lonely. Um, but let's see. Because under that is the star card, and then there's you. How crazy is that? So it's like the king and queen of fire, and in between is the star card. Feeling hopeful, positive, lucky. You're both feeling the same way, you and another fire sign. But you have a water sign here. So I'm wondering if you're thinking which path to take. All right, guys. Let's continue. Let's see which deck I need. I think I'm feeling this one. What is this King of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Justice, and Six of Wands? Somebody I feel is bringing forward feelings to you, and I think it's making you feel good. I mean, whether you want this person or not, but it's strange how you go from feeling successful over here to feeling lonely over here. 
but I think I also understand this over here in your outcome, to be honest with you. I think because you're changing. And, you know, with the metamorphosis, with the transition, Aries, part of you is going to die. That's why you also have the Five of Swords here. You know there's part of you that you're shedding and you have to say goodbye to it. Maybe you're uncomfortable with that. Maybe you're not ready for that. But it's coming. And it's part of your evolution. Trust me, you're not ones to stay on the same journey for life here. Sorry about that. And that was like right under the microphone. <laughs> Page of Swords, the Hangman, and Justice. Justice here, Justice here. Wow, and the Five of Pentacles again, but in reverse. You guys do. Somebody comes and makes you feel good. Someone makes you feel vindicated, validated. Somebody sees you, all right? But the justice is struggling to come in because there's being stuck by you either potentially looking for something else, looking for someone else. Um, this is also the stalking card. And the five of swords again. This is exactly the story I just gave you. There's someone here who's interested in you. You're unclear about them, um, but you feel good because they're noticing you. You still feel stuck because I know somewhere deep down inside Aries in your subconscious, you know you're still healing. You're healing some, you know, love battle scars or some wounds um, from when you were a child inside internally, <clears throat> some traumas. You're trying to deal with them and they're finally coming to the surface and I think you're starting to understand them. But now that you're getting this opportunity for somebody here who's interested in you, you're like, mm, I don't know, I don't know. And this is why in your advice position, it's like, wait and see. But there, you know, some shit does gotta go in your life. There you are, struggling in your mind. Should I give somebody here this opportunity? Should I not? What should I do? You are getting some justice though. You are getting something uh, in regards to money or a solid relationship. Yeah, somebody came in out of the blue. Hi, Aries, how you doing? I haven't spoken to you in a minute. Three of Cups. Nine of Wands. I literally was feeling this right before I turned this card over. I, I kid you not. This is the feeling. It's like those emotional wounds I was just talking about. This is having your emotional guard up. It's like you want to talk, but you're not talking. It's like you want to put yourself out there like the happy little Larrys you used to be. But it's not forthcoming. It's not coming out of you. Um, it's like you almost have this invisible gate in front of you and... You know, you don't want to be behind it, but you are behind it, but you know that you're behind it too. And then this is like the stuff that's going on in your head. But here you are. You're, you're, you're putting yourself out there. You're going for drinks. You're dating. You're talking. You're socializing. You're trying. You're having reunions with people, but you're emotionally guarded. If it's not you, it's them. Then it's both of you. But this is definitely also happening to you. Yeah, you're in your head. Queen of Swords. <clears throat> it's coming guys it, it I, I, this is i feel like th you're going through a process right now you're processing and it's coming out it's like almost as if you know waste like waste right you're just uh, trying to clean something out so the waste of like that's the shitty thing and that's going on within you it's coming to the surface and it's coming out and it's getting cleansed um it's almost like a spiritual cleanse you're going through, to be honest with you. I know it sounds a little gross, but it's it's cathartic. And this is, I feel like what I'm seeing is happening here with you. Interesting. Let's see the Five of Swords and the Two of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. It's like some of you guys are saying to yourself, I know me, but do I know me? No, I know me. But this is like, what, a new version of me? <laughs> Here's the thing. You're questioning things. And that's a good thing. Because while you're questioning these things, you're bringing it all out to the surface. That toxic waste that I was talking about, that spiritual cleanse within you. 
this, this enlightenment that you're having for yourselves. It's helping you get to the root of your issue, but you're acknowledging it. So that's a good thing. Um, it's like funny. It's like you're trying to do things on a twofold. Put yourself out there like you're doing a dance. Like you put yourself out there, but then like you kind of hold yourself back also because you're acknowledging things about you that you're not prepared or ready for, which could be a new relationship, which could be some new job, which could be you moving across the country, whatever big thing is or the next big thing for you, but it's coming. This is why the universe is doing this to you. It's even testing you right now. All right, so the Five of Swords and the Two Twos, the, these decisions that you're trying to make, and this um, Queen of Cups. So all this like mumbo jumbo that I'm talking about that, you know, you're having like these, this cathartic moment with yourself. This is all being represented by the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is somebody who is emotionally mature. That's you. That's somebody who's now in this place to like accept it. You're coming from a place of acceptance. You're using your heart chakra right now. And this is what you're doing for yourselves. Eight of Cups sideways, Six of Pentacles in reverse, Eight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. The, this is the dance you're doing with yourself. This is the thing that you're going back and forth with you. You're like Six of Pentacles. I'm getting breadcrumbs and peanuts. I obviously see a red flag. It's not a concert. It's a red flag. Um, but you're not exactly leaving. You're not coming or going. You're just kind of like stuck. Why are you stuck? Because you're in your head with all your demons over there. Meanwhile, you have your own angel presiding over you, but this is you. Looking at your demons and your angel's like, what in the fuck is Sally doing? What? John, wake up. Come on. It's a red flag. <laughs> and it's coming up to the surface for you. You know it. Five of Swords. You're like, you know what? I got to cut these bitches out of my life. <laughs> you know why you're doing that? Because you're thinking of, you know, all the things in your life that need stability. Your family, your kids, your career, whatever that is. It's all coming up. Ace of Swords. Yeah, the truth is coming. Somebody's coming forward very soon to have a conversation. And this is definitely about you in regards to, you know, your worth and your value. I know the camera has to refocus. Um, it's what happens every time I bring a card close to the camera like this. It'll focus, but this part won't. All right, let's just go up to your advice. So we see what's happening to you. Well, let's see your advice right now. Why this Ace of Swords is in reverse and the Knight of Pentacles. So Spirit's saying, look. With all of this that's happening to you and all of this that's going on and all of these choices that you have, Aries, your best bet is to go slowly, methodically on the path that you're tracking right now. You don't have to do anything different because things are going to unfold for you. But you're not having conversation here with somebody or there's a lack of communication. Somebody's not putting their cards on the table. Somebody's not being straight up or straightforward. Like, it's so easy for you to turn around and be like, yo, give me some patience because I'm dealing with this. I have some, like, you know, boundaries going on. Um, I hope you can respect them. I'm interested in you. I want you. Th this is just an example, but this is what I mean by those that guard, those boundaries. We want to be careful that there's boundaries and then there's walls. Nothing gets through a wall. A boundary just says, hey, this is the door. This is the respect level I expect. And there it is. Intentions and expectations. All should always be stated. Always. And those of you that follow me on Instagram, you know, if you see my stories, my stories are always about your worth, your value, things that you should be acknowledging within yourself, about yourselves. And if it's not forthcoming, it's that little nagging noise inside of you. That nagging noise is only going to get louder and louder and louder until you get to the point where you're having so much anxiety, you do something about it or you have a tower moment. So you can't ignore those noises either that you have within you, Aries. Um, Four of Cups, Three of Swords. Yeah, this is either unrequited love or and profound pain mixed together. This could be a runner-chaser dynamic. It doesn't matter. It's tied up with Three of Swords. There's some kind of pain tied up to this. Lack of truth. Lack of putting cards on the table. Lack of honesty. Maybe it's even you. 
Maybe you're the one that's not being honest with yourself or someone else that you may or may not be interested or you're afraid of getting heartbroken again. So there's a lack of conversation. You have to understand, these are clarifiers. This isn't really what's happening. That's what it's telling you to do. And it's spirits telling you to do that because of this, because of your suffering, because of your pain, because there is unrequited love here, because it is a runner chaser. It's those red flags I spoke to you about earlier. You know them. The noise is only going to get louder without communication. It will end in disaster, ten of swords. You don't got to hear me. <laughs> you do you. But if you ever wanted the advice and this is your story, I highly recommend it. Let's see your outcome. Eight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. I feel like the advice never fails me. I'll be honest with you. When I use Tarot, I use it for work. And I deal with like some shitty people, like coworkers. And there's so many times, like I felt like the cards walked me off a ledge. There were so many times I was going to blow up at somebody. <laughs> and I'm so glad. And every time I use the advice, it always worked to my advantage. It could be very small though. It could be innocuous. It doesn't have to be as like epic changing as this, as I'm saying. But you understand, you're discerning adults. You know how to apply this to your life and your situation. Um, here's what's interesting. Somebody either feels lonely within a relationship, like you're here, and you, or you both feel the same way. Two of Cups, because this is a partnership. Can be a business partnership, can be a love partnership. But this is the clarifier. Telling me somebody's working so hard to ignore the fact that they feel lonely, or it is because they're working so hard that they are lonely. I get it, Aries. It's just like one of those things right now that you're, yeah... Look at this. So the two of you might not be getting on and rejecting the other because of work or because of your own shit. And here is this fire sign I was talking about earlier. It doesn't have to be a fire sign, guys. It's just represented by Aries Leo Sag, but it's somebody very passionate. Somebody you're very that is very attractive, that you are attracted to. Um, but this is a rejection. And this is coming down the line. And you know me, my kings are the incoming energy. So this is male or female incoming. This is a rejection of this person. And this is putting you back to where you started. Maybe you're not done healing. Maybe you're not done processing. Because I see you guys resisting. Or someone here is resisting. And it's all too well that you're both doing the same thing to one another. Very interesting. Tell me what's going on here for Aries, Spirit. Tell me what's going on here for Aries. Because it seems complicated. What? What? What's happening? <laughs> what's happening? All the cards are spilling out. Ugh, one more, guys. One more. Past life relationship. I had to look at that. I'm curious to see if it'll come back out. Those of you that are new to my channel, I like using the oracle cards because I feel like these oracle cards, it's not just telling me what's coming in. It's I feel like it's the oracles. They see what's going on. They know what things are. They, sometimes love is blind. Like sometimes we're just dumb and we ignore red flags. They do not. They tell you straight up. This is it. <laughs> what's going on here for Aries, please? soulmate you guys may have potentially met a soulmate some of you could be shoving this person away some of you this person is incoming because i feel like you're both going through the same thing whoever this person is and i do feel like they're sort of newish or you know them um but newish to you as far as like a relationship you had a past life relationship there it is it's at the bottom of the deck so it didn't make its appearance um, you know what? Let's just for shits and giggles do this. Spirit, tell me who this King of Cups is. And 
Interesting. Tell me who the fire sign was. Both representing different types of elements. One is very attractive, charismatic, good looking. The other one is emotionally mature, available, etc. Free yourself. Interesting. And past life relationship is there again. Okay, so in the extended, you know I'm going to clarify these with Tarot because we're going to do a mini deep dive and see what's going on here, especially with soulmate. Um, I don't know if we need to see worth waiting for, but it is talking about the person that's emotionally mature, emotionally available, because that's the person who can handle a relationship, not somebody who's like, you know, going to fly off the cuff and go crazy on you. That's somebody you're going to want to free yourself from. All right, so aside from that, let's get one more card of advice from the Wisdom House and Night. Uh, and those of you that are not members, uh, the extended readings, which is the link is down below. You have to be a member. Um, the re This reading is about you. In the extended, we go into your person, their thoughts of you, their feelings, their intentions, uh, the actions that they will take in the near future, and then what spirit has for the both of you. And then we go from Aries to Pisces and pick two cards like that mostly about them as this reading is more about you understanding let's see understanding I was just thinking of that song from David Gann uh, I forgot the name of the title, but the whole thing is like, it says, understand me. It's an interesting uh, song, lyrics too. This is the symbol for deep and true comprehension. It's one of those things to read something or hear something, but it's a whole other thing to truly understand something. You're being asked to keep an open mind and a heart and to allow yourself to absorb information as you receive it. That's why you have the Knight of Pentacles, slow, so things can open and unfold for you. Same thing here when you have, um, because you're emotionally guarded right now. Be open to the wisdom that can come only with time, patience, and perspective. That is the embodiment of the Knight of Pentacles that was in your advice card uh, position. Uh, try to get outside of yourself and imagine what it's like to walk in someone else's shoes. To understand is to have power. I think you guys do that. I think you always do your best to consider the other person um, and what it's like to be in their position. Uh, unless they fucked you over, then you don't care. And I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys i'll see you over at the extended um everyone else i'll see you next week